Hey, it's Dan Henry from puffweb.com, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the absolute best, most effective method to quitting smoking. I've had this method on my blog, puffweb.com, for about two years, and I've received at least, I'd say, about 100 emails from people thanking me for the method and telling me that they did use it and they successfully quit smoking. The reason I put this method on my website is because it is how I quit smoking. Believe it or not, I'm 27 years old. I know I got a baby face, but from about 15, the age of 15 to 24, I was a hardcore smoker. I went from anywhere from a pack a day to two and a half packs a day. It was really, really bad. I've always tried to quit smoking and I always had trouble with it. I tried patches, I tried pills, I tried cold turkey, and even though it might work for maybe a week or two, I always went back to cigarettes. That was until they came out with the new invention, electronic cigarettes. When I heard about these, I gave them a try. In the beginning, they really weren't that good and I messed around with them a little bit, but over a six month period, I noticed that there were some new companies coming out making really awesome uh, electronic cigarettes. I had read some reviews about them and I decided to give these a try. They were a little bit more expensive than the ones I had gotten in the gas station, but I decided to give them a try. And I came up with a way to quit smoking using a particular brand of electronic cigarette. I'm sure it would work with a couple other brands, but I, I, it did work for me with this one brand. And I, I effectively quit. It took me about 30 days and I was smoke free and I haven't smoked since. The reason that this method works is it actually works off the same theories of the nicotine patch and things like that. You see, when you have nicotine flowing through your veins, you've been smoking for a while, you've got a bunch of nicotine, it's very hard to quit cold turkey because when you take the nicotine away, your body revolts and it causes you to have cravings that make you go out and get that cigarette and get that nicotine back in your body. Your body wants that nicotine and it's gonna do anything in its power to get that nicotine back. Now the name of this method is the taper down method. How we do this is we start with a strong dose of nicotine and we work our way down slowly to a lower and lower and lower dose until eventually we have none. However, the reason that this method works so well is because instead of putting a patch on your arm or a pill or something like that, you're actually smoking. You're actually using something in your mouth and you're taking that level of nicotine lower and lower and lower and lower. You see, electronic cigarette companies sell different strengths of electronic cigarette cartridges. You can start with a heavy or strong uh, level of nicotine, which is basically like a full flavor. And then they have a medium, which is again, like a medium. They have a light, which is comparable to a light cigarette, like a marble light or something like that. And then they have this special thing called no nicotine cartridges. These give you the flavor and the experience of smoking but there's no nicotine. And we're gonna use the fact that they have different strengths of cartridges to our advantage, and I'm gonna show you how to quit smoking by slowly going down one by one by one. However, you have to do it over a certain timeline. If you speed it up too fast, it won't work. I'm gonna tell you the exact way I did it and the exact way I've taught hundreds of other people to do it and how it works and how it'll work for you. Okay, here we have a pack of real cigarettes. I don't smoke and I certainly don't let anyone smoke in my house. However, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna take one for the team and I'm gonna show you the difference between a real cigarette and an electronic cigarette. One major concern that a lot of people have is that, oh, you know, does it feel real? Uh, am I really gonna get a lot of smoke or vapor? Well, here's the thing. If you buy a cheap brand, no, it's it's not. It's gonna suck. You're gonna hate it. Okay, and um, a lot of people that try electronic cigarettes use 
you know, cheap brands and then they just think, oh, electronic cigarettes don't work. That's not the case. If you get the right brand, which I'll show you what brand I use later on in this video, if you get the right brand, it will work. Now, these are cheap um, Paul Mall cigarettes. I bought the, the cheapest pack that I could get because, you know, I, I, I don't smoke. Um, this is a real cigarette. This is an electronic cigarette. It's uh, actually blue and white because it's a designer battery. It just looks cool. It has nothing to do with anything, though. Um, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate you the difference between the smoke you'll get out of a real cigarette and the smoke you'll get, or as they call it, vapor, you'll get out of an electronic cigarette. Now, I'm only going to take one puff because I don't smoke and I hate smoke um, now. So I'm going to go ahead and take one puff and I'm going to show you the difference. This is a glass of water because I don't have an ashtray because I don't smoke. So I'm just going to take a puff and then I'm going to put it out. So I'm going to go ahead and light this up. And this is a real cigarette. Ooh, haven't done that in a while. Okay, I'm done with that. Whew. Yikes. As you can see, the smoke lingers around and it's gonna stink in here for a few minutes, unfortunately. Now, this is an electronic cigarette, all right? A lot of people are concerned about, do they get enough vapor? Well, here you go. It almost looks like to me like I got more than the real cigarette. Now, the vapor dissipates very quickly. It's a water-based vapor with nicotine in it. It dissipates very quick, quickly. It has no smell. Uh, there's no tar in it. Uh, so it dissipates without bothering any, you know, anybody around you or, or even you yourself. Um, now, a couple of key differences here is that when you smoke a real cigarette, you know, you get that nicotine buzz, you get that throat hit, but you also sort of get this unclean feeling in your nose, in your nasal cavities, in, in your chest. At least I did when I smoked. You know, I, I kept smoking because I was addicted, but I just felt that uneasy kind of ugh feeling. The beautiful thing about electronic cigarettes is you get that throat hit, you definitely feel it here, you get the nicotine, and you don't get that muggy feeling in your in your face and in your chest, you you, you know you don't. Um, so you actually feel a little bit better. At least I feel better when I smoke e-cigarettes than when I smoke when I smoked uh, real cigarettes. You need to get the right brand. The right brand will feel real. This brand feels real, like a real cigarette. You get the wrong brand, it's not going to do it for you. You get the right brand, it's going to give you a very 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 realistic experience. What you want to do here is you want to start with the strongest nicotine amount. So you're going to use a pack of the strong nicotine electronic cigarette cartridges, the strong uh, version or flavor or uh, level, whatever you want to call it. You're going to start with those. Week one, you're going to smoke your cigarette like you'd normally do. However, you're going to take your electronic cigarette and you're going to smoke it as much as possible, but you are going to mix them up a bit. This is going to get you used to smoking an electronic cigarette and will help you smoke less real cigarettes. Week two, you're going to get rid of the cigarette and you're going to still use the strong nicotine with your electronic cigarette, only you're just going to be using your electronic cigarette, no real cigarettes. Week three, you're going to go ahead and take these strong ones, toss them out, and you're going to use the mediums. So week three, you're going to use medium strength nicotine cartridges Again, just smoking your electronic cigarette. Week four, you're gonna use the light nicotine. Okay, so week one, you used both your real cigarette and your strong electronic cigarette. Week two, you used the medium cartridges, and week three, you're gonna use the light cartridges. We're gonna use our electronic cigarette with zero nicotine cartridges, okay? What this accomplishes is it takes you down from not just lowering your nicotine level from high to low, but it also tricks your mind 
into lowering it from smoking to not smoking, but you still have that vice. You still have the ability to take an electronic cigarette with the zero nicotine and puff on it, okay, but you're not getting the nicotine. So the nicotine is not being ingested into your system. However, you still have that sort of uh, physical vice of smoking the electronic cigarette, putting something in your mouth, puffing on it, but there's no nicotine in it. This is the best way to taper down both chemically and mentally to be able to not smoke. You can continue to use your zero nicotine electronic cigarette. The reason for this is because you might find yourself in a bar or you know at a gathering where you have smokers around you and it helps to be able to have something that you can put in your mouth and puff on and get that smoking experience, but without the nicotine, okay? All you're smoking is water vapor with flavoring, okay? So there's no nicotine, there's no tar, there's none of that stuff. It's just a water vapor, okay? So you're not, you know, it's not like you're continuing to harm yourself with what you would find in a real cigarette. This does work, folks. It does work. However, you do have to purchase the right brand, okay? There are a ton of reviews on my site of different electronic cigarettes, and there's user reviews. So both my reviews and user reviews that will allow you to choose a proper e-cigarette. However, I will go ahead and let you know that the brand that I use that helped me quit and the brand that I recommend most to people that email me that they've told me that they've used and it has helped them quit is right below this video on this page. If you don't make these mistakes, you will succeed. You can quit smoking. I did and hundreds of people that have read my blog have quit. I want to hear your success story. Either email me, dan at puffweb.com, or leave a comment on this page and tell me your success story or your failure story and tell me how it worked for you and where you are right now in your journey to quit smoking. Once again, this is dan with puffweb.com. Join my email list, leave a comment, say hi. I would love to hear from you.